hello everyone uh, welcome back to the another new tutorial and today i want to share these two notes which i created uh, it's called the log merge uh, i faced some issues and that time i thought to create uh, this type of node that will help to you know merge uh, the your fg and your bg in log space so the idea is pretty simple uh, when you have a very bright uh, background and you want to merge uh, your element in the bright background that time we are facing some issue like it's uh, clipping our FG edges. Uh, this tool is help to recover those edges and give you a very nice fall off because we are doing in a log space. I have a few examples here which I want to show you. I will go uh, one by one from basic to advanced just to show you uh, where this tool is useful and how you can use this in your uh, script. First I will show you the nodes. So I created these two nodes. Uh, the first one is the OCIO log log merge. So this one is if you are using ACS and uh, these uh, OCIO setting here that time you can use this one. If you are not using the OCIO color space you are just using the new uh, normal uh, default linear workflow that time you can use this uh, this log merge only so if i just open this one this just have this uh, log merge uh, so this is the interface so let me just open these two a very very simple uh, just like we have a normal merge it's just to normal merge i just added the the log functionality in the top we can on and off the log merge here and the unpremed and premed these two button added and the uh, input the log so you can change here how you want so these two are the same if i tap this this is the log merge this one and if i tap again this is log uh, oci log merge so i added these in my uh, hotbox so now i'm uh, trying to you know explore the hotbox so let's see i don't know how uh, this is useful or not in my workflow so i'm just trying so i added these two here so i can just quickly uh, add like this so these two nodes here and let me just show you first example uh, in that one we will see how this how this is useful uh, imagine this is my uh, background and i added one grade just to show you uh, the difference against the bright background so currently if i show you the value the value is like very really like it's not above one first let's see we have this roto we can consider this is like our fg element and it have a nice fall off here okay and if i just merge directly it will be look like this nothing crazy so as expected this will be look like this when you directly merging this thing and if i just do uh, gamma down just to show you the difference so this is the normal merge just a over b and i'm doing the same thing with the ocio merge ocio log merge and the normal log merge so let's see this one and immediately you see the difference at the first uh, it will look like it's eating the edge and we are losing that fall off and if i show you in the normal exposure you can also see if i just do the expose down in the normal merge we can see uh, this line is going here we don't have a nice fall off here actually we can see the line here okay but here we have a very nice fall off that is blending with the background seamlessly okay but uh, maybe if you want like this so you can keep this one the real power is these two are almost same if i just show you the ocio one and this one they have very very little difference so that's why i made it too i think you're not able to see here but i will show you in the uh, other example so i added text here and the contact sheet so i can show you the uh, you know in the contact sheet view so the real power comes in when we have a bright background so let me just increase this to five okay and let's do the gamma down as expected if you have a bright background in the normal merge it will be look like this okay it's totally normal but if i see the same image with the ocio log and this one you will see the difference with the log one we have a more fall off and very nice fall off and you can see the density here previously uh, this is the normal merge and you can see the transparency here but if the ocio log merge and this log merge they both almost same but you can see the fall off let me just increase it maybe uh, 11 and this is the normal merge and if all the edge are gone compared to this one now we have a very nice fall off without a bright background but if i increase the brightness you can see all the edge are gone let's see uh, with the ocio one now in the ocio we have a pretty good fall off that is exactly what i wanted pretty nice okay let's see the other example so uh, in here I have this image this is a sky image and it's have this you know bright area here it's actually it's not that bright because it's just a jpeg image but that's fine for this example 
and did a reformat uh, the same we have this grade node here and we are merging the same element here like this this roto with the soft fall off without increasing the grade you can see the difference so let us disable this one so here we need more fall off so if i see the ocio the ocio gives you more fall off compared to this okay and same with the log merge so that is the biggest advantage uh, using the uh, log merge you get more fall off and nice you know blending with the background instead of you know just uh, clipping the edge because we have bright background and let's see if i increase uh, maybe five now you see the more clipping so it's eating the edge more compared to the ocio one is it is maintaining that fall off and that is exactly i want it is basically compensating this one because you are doing in a log space so uh, similarly i have the, the same image now we have this noise pattern okay and this is the noise pattern we get by default when you merge this one and in the log space you get very good fall off and if i just blur this here also you can see all over there you get pretty nice fall off and, can, and here you can easily see is blending the is you know occluding the bg layer very nicely now let's see one more example in here i have this uh, shot this is my you know the previous uh, deep compositing series this is the frames so let's, let me show you this frame first so what i'm doing here i'm just adding the you uh, know uh, the lens dirt so this is my task i want to add len lens dirt uh, on top of this image so for that i created uh, the setup just i did a reformat and did a transform here let me just show you transform here just adding you no know, just adding more variation just same thing just scaling and you know rotating it has a white alpha we need a proper alpha so i just added a keyer and just prop it and just multiply based on my shot so currently is multiplied one let's see the difference this is by default with the normal merge node and this is with the log merge clearly we can see the log one give you very nice you know blending with the background here you can see this is the normal one this is the long one and if i decrease the value because we don't want this much of value i can put it 0.1 like this maybe 0.5 now we have a pretty good in you know, a blending with the background see this part so this looks pretty good here but with the normal merge it's very intense here is nicely blending with the background okay this is just one example and this is with the contact sheet so if i just increase this one one and if i switch the layer maybe this layer here you can see a pretty good example it just you no know, blending nicely with the background so that's the whole point and you can control more you can see this is too bright and this is like you know taking the bg color automatically so we can just decrease this 0.3 something and now we have pretty good range See, compared with this okay so this is this then i have a more test to show you so this is the another one again this is my upcoming uh, deep compositing course and this render is coming from blender and this is the uh, final output you're seeing on the screen so in this one i have this frame and this frame let's first see this frame okay same thing i'm just you know adding the lens dot and let's see with the log in this one you can clearly see how good log is doing without any you know color grading nothing it just you no know, blending everything together and now i'm not adding any you know bg color on top of this i'm just merging in the log space doing pretty good job you know and even if i just decrease the brightness maybe 0.5 just lower now it's done i don't want to do anything i don't want to add you know bg color here nothing like that it just works that's the idea and here also let's see the this frame also this frame here also you can see pretty good maybe here we need more intensity so i can increase just for the example just to show you see pretty good here also pretty good let's move on to the next one so this is in the you know contact sheet i have one more example uh, this one what i'm doing here i'm just taking this one the long merge i am using in this shot also so i will show you where i use this one because i have this bright background and i have this fg trees on top so when i'm merging this one i'm losing all these detail here so when i merge with the log space you can see all these tiny tiny details which is not you know clipping because of the high value here 
what I mean by that, uh, if I just grab something from the plate and just you know make a patch like this and just merge it here against the bright background so with the grade i intentionally increase the brightness just to show you the point now you can clearly see if i enable the grade the edges are getting eat up so that is exactly what i am you know talking about in the beginning i want to uh, retain those uh, edges previously what we can do we can just add grade here and you can use uh, this alpha and you can just you know uh, grade down like this now if i just disable this now it looks like we are having all the edges that we want but it's not exactly uh, that we want so first of all you can see the fall off is gone okay and the second thing in when we are doing this we are just you know making it black and then we are adding on top of this fg layer even if i just you know increase this like one or two so we don't need to uh, remove everything even this one is not recovering all the edges okay and on top of that we are just losing the color of this uh, edge color so if i disable this one if i show you uh, with the log then you can see the difference what i mean for now let's assume that we are using this one and just making it completely not zero uh, point 0.1 okay so this is the output we can get okay previously now with the log merge i'm just comparing with this and with the log in the log you can clearly see we are getting almost everything so if i just disable this you can see it's just slightly decreasing the luminance but compared to this it's very little right and the biggest advantage of using log space in this scenario is exposed down we are getting all these you know color back here you can see the edge is there is no color completely gray completely white uh, in the log space we have all the colors here so that is the bigger advantage so that is the biggest advantage uh, because we are doing a great uh, we are losing the color even if i just turn off the great we still don't have the color in the edges properly because uh, it's very bright okay but in the log we have nice color in the edge see this compared to this this we have nice green color as we have in our fg here that is the biggest advantage if you want to merge anything again the bright background and if you have you know if i just increase this if i do a more uh, blur you can clearly see the difference now we can see uh, the advantage you know uh, see if i do like blur like eight see the log what log is doing it's recovering everything and make sure uh, we we need to blur the uh, rgba alpha also otherwise uh, this will not gonna give you a proper output you can here I have a few options as I said now you can do unpremal premal if I disable this one because our output is pre-melted right with the correct alpha so this is the correct alpha so when we blur we need to blur with the alpha not just RGB so RGBA and same like for the defocus if you are doing a defocus uh, that time this will work properly so make sure you enable unpremal and pre -melt. then you are good to go now you can see is doing pretty good job and this is a contact sheet with this here you can clearly see with the log merge with the normal merge and with this two log merge how much detail how much uh, shape uh, you are retaining so if i just disable this and if i add a defocus instead of this zoom in like this and now we can see how this is doing So with the defocus node and it's giving us pretty good job so if i push it too much here is completely gone but here you can still see and uh, this is the difference uh, if i just show you these two i think it's difference is it's very very little so that's why i created these two nodes so you can use it uh, this ocio one or the log merge they both are the same now you get the point what i'm talking about rgba and see the difference so so this is what i'm talking about uh, that's why i created these two notes uh, i will share this one in the nukepedia so if you are interested you can download and you can try and give me some feedback in the you know in the comment i will try to include these two notes more in the future i will use these two notes in my workflow if you don't want to use uh, the log log method you can just turn off here and it will behave like a normal merge and you can just turn off this one also and pre and it will behave like a normal merge node 
So just turn off these two inputs and you can use this as a normal merge. And you can turn on anytime this one and to become a you know a log merge. And similarly, I have this uh, another called this uh, lock keyer. So this one also the same thing, just you know adding a lock tool in, adding a uh, keyer node in between. So what this allow us, I have few more examples here. So here I'm just blurring this one and just you know dividing this and adding grade and doing multiply. Okay. So basically like divide and multiply. So you can see the same grid I'm adding here also and doing the same operation in the, with the log one, OCIO log one. Doing a divide operation, a grading and just, you know, multiplying. And now you can see the difference. So the log one is giving you a pretty good result. Here with the normal merge, you can see all the artifacts because I did a, you know, this much of grid, like this. maybe I push this much and you can see it's crappy. Now you can see in the log, it's giving you a nice result. The grade is same. So if I push this, you can see it's not breaking the image. So that's the point. So even if this break like here, and if I see here, this is totally gone. <laughs> here you can't use this one. So this is pretty useful. So you can use uh, in this type of situation also. And there is one more, uh, I have this one. I'm just, you know, I have a, I have this noise, just OCI log merge. And you can see directly if I merge this one and make sure you turn off on pre mode and make sure this thing have a proper alpha, not the white alpha, this type of alpha, which is define the shape where we have the white and where we have darks. So this one and uh, this one. Maybe you want this one, but this will give you nice follow up, the log one. This is very good test. As I said, you can use to merge FG with a bright background and you can do, you know, a lot of things. For example, if I just push this here and if there are uh, an aspect ratio, maybe 0.5, and now we have anamorphic. You can clearly see this is totally uh, destroyed, but here we have a nice shape. That's it, guys. Uh, I don't want to waste your too much time. So this is the tool. Use in your workflow and let me know how uh, useful this is. And I will try to improve this one as much as I can. Thank you so much for watching and we will see you in the next one. Have a great day.